Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's draw this baby dragon from Game of Thrones. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so let's draw this dragon and it's pretty cool looking and it's actually full body. So I'm gonna try to draw the whole thing. Uh, it's relatively small. Uh, it's gonna be well, it's a baby dragon. Let's see, hope I can fit everything in screen. I mean, I do want to draw the, the bigger ones when they're grown up, but there's not a lot of, you know, full body shots of them that are kind of clear. All right, so I'm just going to block things in. This is right right here. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing his like upper body, so like chest area. So if I can just block that, I'll just start from there. And then here's the head. Okay, can you see? I hope you can see this. Um, so here's the neck coming out. I'm doing these contour lines so I can remind myself of a uh, you know, the direction and here's the head it's kind of like squarish um i don't know if i should draw more of this all right just kind of i just kind of want to see so you can see better what, what i'm trying to do here okay so can you see that so it's okay so here's the eyes right so it's keeping in mind that this is almost like a squarish kind of shape all right so it turns around and here's the body uh let's see let's go back uh, let's see, going back. So we can divide up in, in chunks, and here is his um, his leg. So it's almost like a very similar to like a dog leg or something, right? Okay, here's the tummy. Here's the leg. Here's his whole back uh, part, and then here's the leg. And his here's. Now I'm not gonna do the leg because it is a smaller part. So I'd rather do the tail. Okay, so the tail comes down. Tail's gonna come down and it's gonna and it's gonna swoop back up toward his body. Okay, so like that's the middle of the body. I know it doesn't go up all the way, but that's what I'm seeing, right? The tail goes up like this. And it ends right there. But if you extend it, it goes all the way up. So that's that's the kind of the way that you can you know measure things um, just by extending certain features and see where they would meet up. And then here's his leg. And then if you go across, here's his mouth on the bottom. If you go um, directly across horizontal, that's where his like kind of this little you know these these claws start to bend. Okay, so I'm not gonna draw any more detail on that because again I'm just trying to block things in. And well, if we wanted to, we can actually do the other one. Let's do the other one too. Then since it's just right there. So the other one's fairly easy because you know now that we've seen what's on the front and we know that the the his claws wraps around right where his leg, I mean, right, right where his tail comes up, right? Okay, so, so you see how, you know, how, you know, really basic, but it's just it's very essential to be able to just see those things and relationships. Okay, so his, uh, his wing right here, okay, so gonna, let's see, it's almost vertical, slightly going back this way, okay? And in terms of distance, it's almost, Slightly less than the distance of his body, so, so I guess somewhere right here. And then we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the bottom first because the, if I do the top, it's a little bit harder to judge since I'm since I have reference points on the bottom. So I'm just gonna draw this first. Okay, so it comes down here again. I'm measuring um, the horizontal. If I go horizontal, see that right right around his leg. That's where his first. I don't know what you call that, but a little sharp angle thing. <laughs> I'm sure there's a terminology for that. So now I can draw in the, the upper upper part. Okay. So again, it doesn't need to be that accurate because it is just a wing. All right, let's draw the other side. Let's see. Uh, his other, other arm is going to continue. So you can see this, the, the body right here. If it goes straight up, right, you see that line right there? It kind of continues like that. That's where his, his other arm is going to be. And then his arm elbow is right there, right in the, about the middle, right? And it's going to start to bend at this angle and where? Probably somewhere, like I'm, I'm looking at the angle from here to here. So it's going to come all the way out right around here, okay? And I can actually check that here. See, I probably went up too high or this needs to be go up high, higher. So. You see, it's a horizontal, you see these little angles, that's how you kind of check. All right, but we don't have to be, you know, too, um, 
too crazy about this the accuracy on this because it's just a dragon and even if you mess up it still look like a dragon right all right so that's pretty much the blocking in process um now you can pretty much start shading all right so let's start shading then this will be the fun part uh it's pretty dark so i'm gonna could be really messy okay so his wings right here so now i can finally you know add in some maybe some real lines now there's a couple of ways see i'm, I'm drawing these lines I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just start shading but i know if i do these lines it actually be very helpful but it also takes a little bit longer and it makes it a little bit stiffer because I'm just drawing lines. Sometimes I kind of like to just start shading. Um, it's a little bit more interesting. <laughs> so right now I'm just doing these contour lines. Just, I mean, not contour lines, but around the edges. Okay, so here, 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 something like that. Close enough, and then the claws, looks like he's got three claws. The middle one, and then two smaller ones, okay. Then his tail goes over here, goes around. And his other leg, let's catch that in. So by Doing these lines first, I mean, it does help. Uh, probably help help to show the process more than actually helping me to shade it um, because I actually want to shade it first. Kind of shade along the way. Uh, okay, so this is his head. Here's his eye. There's a slight angle to it, okay? It's eye, so it's not like a circle because, you know, we're kind of seeing it at a three-quarter view. There's his nostrils. Then, and this, and this is difficult. I mean, if you're not too familiar with, you know, drawing things in good perspective, this, this mouth area is actually very tricky, you know, because it's, it's you know, this is tapering in toward the, you know, toward the tip, and then also it's, you know, it's wider on the back too. I mean, you know, you're seeing it at an angle, so it's actually very tricky. Um, because you can you can be off, and you it's hard to, harder to recognize. Okay, so just very roughly. And then the wing, actually, uh, you know, the wing is pretty boring actually. There's not a lot of stuff going on there. Almost forgot this arm piece underneath. Okay, yeah, let's just start shading. Gotta have, gotta have some fun, right? <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, very dark. I'm just trying to identify parts because this is like really dark in here. It's hard to, kind of hard to see, but I know that, you know that the leg is here. So I'm just trying to identify the the musculature if I can. So this might be really messy. Is this almost like drawing, uh, kind of like me drawing the T-Rex earlier, right? So I'm gonna try to find those little musculature and shade them in. Because a lot of it is just, looks like it's texturing. Okay, here's well, here's one part right here. You can just the mus musculature coming here, and this is actually the terminator right here. Okay, you see that this is actually the terminator. The light, and then this is all in in, sh in, sh in the shade, and the light comes here, and I'm actually gonna sketch in that. So, because this is the terminator right here as well, but it's it's not as distinct because it's it's at a uh, flatter angle. And then this is dark, and then that's how you get to the head. So here's the terminator. Everything's in the shade, and I'm gonna try to leave the bottom a little bit 
brighter since it is um, you know lighter on the bottom right there so the terminator if you look at it carefully it looks like it's coming through here as well okay so it's coming here does a little shape like this for this leg so this is actually very good to identify and here's everything in the shade and then let's say let's well let's keep going then since we're doing this with heart so here's the terminator here and this whole leg here this whole um, tail here kind of bends away from the light so the terminator disappears okay so the terminators are somewhere right here and it disappears do you see that so it's 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 nice to recognize those things because now you know now you get like a fuller sense of you know, what is going on um, and it does help in shading because if you want to simplify things you know just just get these major shading in and it'll still look good I mean it's still like it's been shaded all right let's go in well, let's go in here yeah there's a lot of little stuff I don't know how much detail I want to put into this thing. Here's the wing. I'm just, I'm just, I can't try to identify the contrast areas, right? Like I know this wing is darker right here. And that's what gives th this part, the body come forward. So that's why I'm shading that. It's actually just so I can start feeling these, like right here. His wing right here is darker. Right? His wing right here is darker. Let's see, there's a couple of lines here. So by drawing, shading the back, uh, you know, this, this whole muscle area comes forward. So that's, that's kind of what I'm seeing and that's kind of what I want to focus on first. You know, just like, it's, it's like I'm trying to pull this thing into, into um, you know, give it form, right? Three-dimensional form. So I'm going to come back here. I know there's a bulge here. I'm trying to show you this tummy area. It's not a fold here. This leg. Okay. So all right. So it's getting there, right? You can you can start feeling it. Um, you know, you can start feeling the form a little bit. Let's do the head. So that's probably the most interesting part. All right. Let me see. This is dark. So relatively small, so keep your strokes small. You know, don't don't no major lines. This is a little bit darker here. It's very subtle. There's a little okay, here's the brow area if you can call it that. And this is darker here. Then his mouth. Again, uh important to all you have to do is just do the inside here and then you know the this whole upper part is gonna come forward. So that's what I mean. It's like drawing, shading things behind. You know, you shade it right, or even just some shading, it'll bring out this full form. So there's no no need to draw like a line there, you know, for his mouth because it really doesn't exist. You know, the only reason we see it is because, you know, what is uh, the lower the lower jaw is darker here so you know dark so it's just kind of like flick you know just kind of go in just flick at it because it's very small and, I'm, and I'll sh uh, toward the end now I'll, I'll sharpen the, my 6b and, and you know put in the details but for now this is great I mean you, you kind of want this kind of thick uh, thick point like some looks like all right looks like there's a lot of little spikes coming out and I can yeah I'll, I'll, I'll put lines for that those those requires a little bit more you know careful shading so I'll do that later so here's darker because it's got these uh, spikes in the sh in the shadow some side weights okay see a little bit more shading here this should be a little bit darker 
can see this kind of like a rectangular shape. Okay, the neck here again. I gotta I gotta make this dark because if I don't, the head won't come out. This is right behind the head right here. Some shadowing from the sp these spikes. Now I know there's a lot of little stuff here. There's some scaling, some scalings. Uh, you, you can just kind of dab it a little bit. You know, the, the parts that are in the shade. That'll give it some, you know, a little bit of texturing. Not not too much, right? But just enough, just the hint of it. That's all you want. Or else you go crazy. Sketching scales. All right, so a little bit darker than that. So you know, in here, yeah, probably a little bit more detail. I'll probably go in with a sharper pencil later, darkening it up. Okay, so now I got this head, this part, all this part area looks a little bit light. So I'm gonna start shading a little bit darker. And I'm trying to follow the, see there's a lot of little folds. I'm gonna try to follow that so I can follow the direction so I can get you know, some of the texture shading at the same time. It's darker here. I keep, I keep coming back to this area because this feels this area feels to me like the center of this whole piece because, because the shadowing right here is dark. So everything is very dark, so it just feels like it's you know the weight that's going to be here, the weight of the drawing. So it's dark here. This tail. Well, let's go back up here so I can give you, hopefully finish this part a little bit more. Part needs a lot more broader strokes to finish this up. So let me try to do a little bit more of this skin stuff here. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll finish this up with a speed drawing so I can concentrate more on drawing and talk, than talking. Hopefully that wouldn't take too long to finish this up. All right, so I'll finish this up and uh, I'll show you how it looks. Alright, I'm back and here's my final drawing for this dragon and pretty much everything was shown on screen. I just kind of went in um, with a sharper 6B and added a little bit of texturing. But, um, but overall, um, you know, the way to approach this kind of drawings is, is if you look at the reference, there's a lot of stuff going on, right? Um, there's a lot of uh, texturing and the, the skin and everything. So it's very confusing and if you try to draw it as it is, you know, you, you might end up getting lost, you know, at the end because you know the uh, the amount of texturing kind of fools you a little bit and it could mess up your your uh, overall shapes and stuff right so in order to avoid that just try to sh um, shade in like the major shapes first try to recognize you know where these these musculatures are going 
and then just try to shade that first and then you can decide on later on if you want to add a little bit more texturing here and there you know just to give it um you know a little bit more life and a little, a little bit more accuracy toward the uh, the reference but at the beginning is it's really important to try to figure out the shapes and that's kind of what i was doing at the beginning was just trying to figure out what was going on you know because it's just a mess right the reference so once i was able to see that then you can break it down in these little little chunks and then it's a little bit easier to shade um yeah so and another thing i want to talk about uh was it was just about contrast you know trying to find contrast between edges it's like the wing right here on the back is a little bit darker um, than this front part so i kind of exaggerated that and even like uh even for this wing here you know I, I made this part a little bit darker even though it isn't you know in the reference and the reason i do that is because it makes the drawings more interesting right when you there's contrast here like like the arm right here right here you know this thing pops up and even this leg here i mean well you see that in the reference as well so the more of these um contrast you can put in it becomes you know the more lively it is it's just more interesting your eye just kind of move around um so it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly like the reference but just try to look for those areas and then just concentrate on it on them and really push them out and exaggerate it so yeah, overall you know this is a very f uh, fun drawing to do it's kind of like doing a, a dinosaur um, but it's a very cool looking dragon all right so hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please do give me a thumbs up and i will see you next time